name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are back with more Miraculous. We are watching a season of episode 23. Kuru Niko? Like, Neko? Niko? Like, Japanese? Um, again, I I don't know if I'm saying it, per, like, correct or if I'm supposed to say, like, Kuru? Kuru Neko? Kuru Neko? I don't know. Um... But I think we're talking about a cat, <laughs> which uh, I mean, cat noir, but I don't know. Maybe there's other cat Akuma out there. Not sure. But nevertheless, I am very excited to watch this episode. We're getting very close to the end of season four, which I'm excited and nervous about. There's been a lot of like these hints being dropped as we've been going throughout the season of some mistake happening and like. I'm very nervous because especially with the last episode that felt like a season finale episode and if that isn't our season finale then i don't know what we're doing in the season finale so it'll be interesting so i'm excited to watch hope you guys are as well please keep in mind if you want to see my full uncut reactions you can check out my patreon page link down in the description below or if you just want to see the next episodes early as well so without further ado let's get started this morning, when a temperamental baby became akumatized, our reporter Clara can talk about a view of all the action. You had to have been akumatized like 12 times. Yes! Oh, we haven't used Cat Noir in a hot minute, have we? Oh, look, we got to see Pigella though. By the way, where's Cat Noir? You say Paris without me quite a few times recently. <gasps> Are you two at odds with each other? Isn't this your fault that you're not coming? Well, I guess she's not calling, is she? Oh. Wow, we are very yeah, vivid. Hey, hey, meow, are you, m'lady? Great, thanks, but I gotta go retrieve all these miraculous. I could lend you a paw to help save time. No, no, I don't think I will. You don't know where their rendezvous points are, and I don't have time to- Play oh. cat and mouse is my forte, you know. If you want to save me time, stop wasting it in the first place. <gasps> Oh, that is unfortunate, but she- And take my miraculous back when you're done! Hey, okay, whatever, see you later! Oh! Oh, we strip time anymore, I promise. I'm sorry, Black. Whoa, 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 hang on! What does he mean, take back his miraculous? Adrian! Okay, now... It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? <gasps> oh, no. Oh my god, girl. First off, I know you're going through a lot. Second off, good of you for like not letting that like take you down right there and get what you need done, okay? I'm very proud of you, though it's very rough. But proud of you. I'm really sorry your cat noir's hurt, but I'm doing my best as a guardian. Uh, I know. Just give me the miraculous. I'll give it back to him, <laughs> cheer him up, we'll chow down on some grilled mimolet sandwiches, and everything will go back to normal. It's useless. The problem is that Cat Noir is in love with me. And since I can't do anything about that, I'll keep on breaking his heart yep. over and over again. Yeah. Maybe Cat Noir is right. We should split. I don't think they should split up, but I have addressed this problem before. I have. Him being in love with her is very problematic, and that's why she has told him no. And that's why when he's being a bit of a drama queen... I think he needs to remember that he's a hero first and he needs to put feelings to the sidebar, okay? She's laid him down nicely quite a few times. Another cat noir? What do you mean another cat noir? I'm going to choose a new cat noir myself. One who won't be in love with me. So you'll know his secret identity? Wait, you're right. So we're giving it to someone that. else? If I know who cat noir is and shut up the kumatizes me, you'll know how to find cat noir and he'll capture both the miraculous. Fair. Come on, give me that miraculous. I'll just tell him to erase you from his heart and everything will be fine. Oh. You really think he's capable of that? I don't I actually. So. I don't think so at all. He can throw away the pictures, all that stuff, but he can't actually erase her from his heart. Like, okay, 
He's he's incapable of it or else he would have tried to before. Like he can still have a crush on her, but like you can't let it interfere, you know? <laughs> Adrian, you're late for breakfast. Oh. You can't even walk on your own? Are you okay? I'm fine, Natalie. I just don't feel like going to school. Natalie! Girl, is he paying for your medical bills? Okay, he should be. You need some workers cop or you need to sue Mr. Grass's fucking ass to the ground. I don't care if you love him. Lawsuit time. <laughs> My dear guardian, you cannot continue keeping both the miraculous of destruction and creation under the same roof. If Shadow Moth ever found that out and came here. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Because you can't know his identity, right? It's true that my owner is fantastic, but there is one other boy. Master Fu hesitated between the two of them when he was choosing Cat Noir and Tiki. You're just bringing it back to Adrian. He'd make a perfect Cat Noir, and more importantly, he's not in love with you, and I mean not at all. How can you be sure of that? Because oh it's a Guamidaur. <laughs> and since I can go and present the black list to him myself, you'll never know who he is. That way you'll have a new cat noir who's not in love with you at all and everything will be perfect. You're just picking Adrian again. Okay then. I promise you won't regret it. I feel like I already am regretting it. Listen, I am leaving by believing that I found a perfect new holder for cat noir. And this new holder is you. Adrian. Do you need a therapist? You're gonna be the new cat noir. Wait, you see how brilliant this oh, is? After new all the time cat I noir? Spent with Ladybug, I know exactly what she's looking for. So you and I are gonna whip up a tailor made cat noir. So perfect that believe me, she'll never forget to call on you for help again. But as soon as I transform into cat noir, she'll know it's me. Nope. Because when your personality changes, your costume changes too. Oh. I like it. It's sneaky, and it just might work. But if you focus hard, you can be a completely different cat noir. You really think so? Okay, this is kind of cool. I'm really excited. What's he gonna look like? Cause it's like the the Reina furtive. Black claws out. Oh my god. Show me. Oh. Huh. We've got some work to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, cool, suave. You know how to be serious, like when you're with your father or Natalie. Just be like that. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And I guarantee that Ladybug will not be able to do without you. I don't want him to be all prim and proper, Get though, because that's not who he is. Oh, wait, now I'm kind of sad. This was fun, but now it's not fun anymore. What? Cool. Still show me because I'm very interested. <laughs> Still sad. I want him to be himself. <gasps> oh. Good evening, Ladybug. Oh. I'm Catwalker. Catwalker. Perfect. Likewise. Oh. <laughs> a super villain shows up and you know nothing about them. What would be your first reaction? A. You rush towards them and cataclysm them. B. You first have to get to a safe place to observe them, and that's what you should do too, Ladybug. <laughs> Girl, please. No. Sorry. What if that's a scented monster? If I use my power on him, he'll lose control and become more dangerous. Oh, wow, how do you know so much? Wow. Black really took his job as a coach seriously. Ah! But check me, I know Cat Noir. Hey, oh. what are you doing? Yeah, I'm kidding. Huh. I mean, I kind of like that he's a little bit more serious. Is that bad? I feel bad. <laughs> I love how That's unfocused he is and like he's good. paying attention. What's he doing? Cats sometimes eat grass. It helps them spit up their hair. 
I know I love acting like a clown, but you wouldn't go so far as to eat real grass. Of course that's not cat noir. It's completely understandable why you think that. Yeah, but hello, I just confused my former partner with a giant piggy bank. Oh. I didn't see he was hurt and I couldn't stop him from leaving either. He must be the worst guardian ever. Oh, honey. Maybe the boy who was cat noir was more sensitive than it seemed. But his feelings for you shouldn't force you to pay more attention to him than to others. You take care of everybody equally, Ladybug. Now I want to take care of you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh-oh. 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 Um, I think we're doing the reverse here. She's falling for him. Because he's acting more like Adrian. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. No wonder she's gonna fall for him. I mean, how can you not though? Lucky charm? What? You meant that you need your yo-yo to call for your lucky charm, right? Oh my god. But like, how could you not? Like, he's so suave. <laughs> oh no, she's getting blinded by him. Oh god. You gotta oh, get it together! I know what to do. At least I hope so. Look, I know he is suave and he is charming the pants off of you, literally. But God, girl, come on. Yeah. Well, That's when I use my superpower, ah! right? Right. I hate this, but I love this so much. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh my god, girl! He's so perfect. <laughs> I am okay, good. Now she'll focus and up. That's the problem. God, pull oh, yourself god, together! God. I tried every way I could to include you in the plan, but the lucky charm doesn't work with you. And that's what I figured out too. You're not mad? You don't feel sad or left out? No. Oh. The machine comes first. I'm not making another move. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, Lady Bug. He really is too perfect. Oh my gosh. This show is so just like... Mm. There's sometimes where I'm just loving it. Other times I just want to like strangle these two children. But like at the same time, I'm also like I love it. I just love all of this ridiculousness. It's time to spit up that hair bag. Could you please give me your piggy bank? No way. All the money that I saved up to buy kitty toys for my cat is in here. Oh, yeah. No. I lost my kitty cat too. Uh. <laughs> you just need to break your piggy bank long enough for the big cat to stop being. That's so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay. What would make this perfect is Cat Noir goes out and he finds the cat. And our regular cat door comes back and gives her the cat. Please tell me that's what we're doing. I'm going to like squeal of joy because then they both found their cat. Tell me that's what's happening. I'm so hyped. I'm going to giggle. Oh, no, but it's not our cat noir. Aww. You were perfect. Oh, my God. No, you were perfect. <laughs> but cat noir is not me. Plan will give you the ring back. And he'll send it back to its previous owner. Nice to have met you, Ladybug. Ken Noir is a very lucky guy. Oh my gosh! Uh, I was hoping our Ken Noir would have it, but I guess that doesn't quite work. I've been a really temperamental kitty, my lady. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how much trouble I'd make for you by giving back my miraculous. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't need you all the time doesn't mean that I don't need you at all, Ken Noir. No one could ever replace you. <laughs> okay, but he looked pretty suave in that new outfit. Can we all agree? All right. I, whew, there was a lot of mixed feelings there. But overall, I am very happy that Adrian has come to the conclusion that he was being, you know, too much 
a little temperamental, taking things a little too personally, and the one that was kind of causing issues for Ladybug. Because I do believe he was. He was kind of being a bit out of line. Granted, I will give him some patience and understanding because I don't think he was like 110% out of line. And I don't think he was wrong in having some of those feelings. I want that clear. I don't think his feelings were 110% wrong, but I think he could have talked to Ladybug about it and been a team instead of like having these hissy fits that he's been having and just like being like, I'm dead. Me, me, me. She doesn't want me. Me, me, me. Like it gets a little bit much. Granted, I get their children. I do. I really, really do get their children. But when you have a responsibility like saving Paris slash the world, I, I expect you to step up a bit. Okay. I, I do. I do. Okay. That's where I am at. You may think it's unfair of me, but they have accepted this duty. They could have given up, sent them back, what have you. They didn't have to be this. Yes, they were picked, but they did not have to be Cat Noir and Ladybug. They could have returned them and done away with it. So there is some expectation responsibility that they need to take on and take it seriously. And I felt like Cat Noir hasn't been lately that he's, you know, just been having these hissy fits, what have you, nor does he understand the added stress and responsibility that Ladybug now has being the guardian. It's not just I have to protect my miraculous and the random miraculous I may get from the guardian. No, now she has to protect all the miraculous and be the guardian and decide when she should give them out and keep Cat Noir in check and save the day. All these things are just piled on to her, you know, already hectic life that she is living. So I think you need to be more understanding of what she's going through. Where for Cat Noir, he's just getting upset because, oh no, Ladybug has like turned me down. Like, oh, even though she's turned him down like many occasions and she's done it nicely. Like, I think back to, like, season two. She did it very, very nicely. And she's like, I don't want to lead you on. I don't want you to, like, get the wrong idea. There's somebody else I like. And then he still pursued her, which I think is a bit problematic. Um, Kind of toxic, if you ask me. That she was very nice and told him no. And he still kept pursuing it. And then she'd be like, Kat Nori, no. He's like, I know you like somebody else, but I can't help my feelings. And it's like... She has already turned you down. Like, what do you think she was doing when she said she liked somebody else? She turned you down. So I, I will stand by my thoughts, my feelings. I get your first heartbreak is hard. And that's what he was going through. But she has turned him down so many occasions that like, I can't feel, you know, I can't really give him a lot of empathy when like, it's the seventh time she's turned him down and she does it rather rudely. Like, she's already told you, dude. Like, at this point, like, I can't feel empathy for you when you just kept pursuing it and you were hurting yourself, you know? So that's my thoughts. Hopefully I explained that a little bit better because I know there's been some people who have been upset about why I have been upset about Adrian Cat Noir. I think this episode finally helped me to quell those feelings a bit. Having... Adrian Cat Noir kind of, you know, open up and be like, I've been unfair to her. I understand that I am not being replaced. Like, he should have just had these conversations with her instead of going all, you know, meh, 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 meh about them, getting all sassy. I think he could have talked to them because they had a really good conversation. I also think that Ladybug should give him a little bit more trust, uh, especially because with the last episode uh ethereal uh she was kind of breaching trust and i'm glad she doesn't know who cat noir is i was gonna be actually really upset about that fact but i'm glad she doesn't because it would have been pretty bad but i think she needs to let him in a little bit more i think she does 
need to, you know, maybe discuss some guardian s things with Cat Noir, have him there, because he has been there from the beginning with us. I think that his opinion matters a lot. And granted, I am a huge Alia stan. I really am. I'm not blind to the fact that Alia has made mistakes, but I think that Marinette should, well, Ladybug should talk to Cat Noir more and give him some more trust. I think it would just work out better because I think he has some knowledge that would be very useful for us to have. Granted, he's kind of been in the dark for a lot of things, but I think having him on the same page as us, understanding um, what we're going through would just be very helpful. So that is my thought on that. Moving on though to uh, <laughs> Catwalker. Oh my gosh, where do I even begin? The outfit? iconic i love the little like paw shape uh like gold buttons i th would think they're called with the little gold chain absolutely iconic i love the uh the hair i'm the green hair is interesting i don't know what color i call it it's kind of earthy but i love the little ponytail in the back like ooh! oh oh is so good and just that little moon shot of him it's like oh damn okay like the outfit is beautiful absolutely beautiful like that's all i'll say and he was just very suave very suave i don't have any feelings besides just saying it was very suave and it definitely made my heart go zippity zoop 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 and swoon a bit like the whole like let me let me help you it's just like oh oh my <laughs> like okay <laughs> i'm a wee vulnerable little girl who needs to be protected <laughs> um but i loved it i loved it iconic so so good i absolutely understand why ladybug's heart was just uh going granted we know it's because from plague's words he's like just stand up straight, be prim and proper like what your dad wants you to be, you know, basically be that Adrian, which was interesting to see. And that's why Ladybug Marinette started instantly falling for Catwalker because Catwalker was acting like Adrian and being like Adrian means that Marinette goes all zoopity zoop 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 all stumbly mumbly with her words and can't focus, which is like really problematic for her <laughs> so i like this episode again i love the fact that adrian admitted that he's probably been out of line and a little bit you know too emotional about things and i'm glad that we got to have that moment where ladybug's like you are the only cat noir for me um just because like you weren't on the team doesn't mean i don't need you I need you. And I think both sides need to hear it, say it, just have it out there. Especially going into whatever <laughs> this season finale is going to be. Uh, we need our babies together and on the same page. We can't have this heartache stuff messing with anything going on for us. So overall, I really like this episode. It was interesting. I like seeing a different Cat Noir design. That was very fun. A very, very lovely outfit. The uh, cat, a uh, muck, and uh, akumatized individual was an interesting little addition. I thought it was cute to see, like, uh, Cat Walker, like, be so in tune and, like, perfect, according to Ladybug. That was nice to see and just kind of playing that all out and then getting the cat at the end for like the little child was very cute. So overall, a really good episode. Uh, past this, we only have one more episode and then we go into the two part finale. So it's going to be crazy, but I'm very excited to watch. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I know some of you still think I'm being very harsh on Adrian Cat Noir, and I get it. I do. I probably am. At the end of the day, it is a child, but 
I think there's some responsibility and he needs to be understanding and see someone else's opinion. I think it's very easy um, for people to think of the me aspect of things. But I think at the end of the day, we need to think of the you, the other of the situation that Ladybug is going through so much and she is trying her best and we Adrian Cat Noir needs to give her some patience and understanding because she is going through a lot. And I understand his feelings hurt, but if he's going to keep being temperamental like this, she's obviously not going to pick you. <laughs> so I think it's one of those like, hello, think it through situations. But anyways, again, whether you agree with me or not, does not matter. They are animated TV show characters. I still like the show. Um, and I think this episode finally helped quell my frustrations with Cat Noir's frustrations. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure if you like this video to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz, and I'll see you all later. Bye!